Hey, welcome back to the shop. Not my shop, but my buddy's shop today. We're still working on our 2022 Honda Pilot, and today we're solving a really big issue. And when I say really big, I mean really big. You see, these cars come with all sorts of incredible technology these days. One of those things being the auto start stop. Turn off your engine. Now, I think that is like the bane of existence living in Phoenix when my car shuts off and it's like, hey, you don't need AC. Let's save some gas. Can't talk, save the planet. Like, heck, I don't. I need the AC. Just the same, they don't like this thing shutting off without having to push the button every single time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be installing a pass-through module from Idle Stop. Uh, let me check it. Idle Stopper. That's what it is. These guys make a module to connect in line with the switch so that you don't have to push the button each time you get in the car. I know that doesn't sound like much, but you forget you pull up to a stoplight and some dinglebat is running across the road in your way and you're supposed to turn left or something happens and you want to go. Get in. Come on, drive, drive, drive. And the power's not there because the car's not running. Well, it was the inconvenience of that stupid little button. So today, let's fix it by installing this idle stopper. So we need to start by getting access to our start stop button so that we can get our module wired in line. To do so, we're gonna have to pull the charging plate here off of the front. If you have it, if you don't, you're gonna have the little rubber mat. We need to get these points here and here popped up. You can do that with a trim tool or you can do it with a screwdriver. Really what you have to do is get down underneath here and then we're gonna be popping up the plastic or the little push pin locks down here. So let's see what this is gonna take here. These guys might not be strong enough on their own. It is gonna take a bit of force to get this guy to pop up. And you don't want to damage your trim here. There it is. Start it popping. And then you can get both sides up. And you can pull her forward. And there's a little clip right here that we're going to disconnect. Let's see, right there, that's the part you're pushing down to get that out. And it'll pop right out when you do. Now we have a Phillips here and a Phillips right there to pull out. Now our whole center console here can pop up. It's gonna have similar little clips. These are plastic spring clips. And the easiest way is to get down right underneath the front side here and pull from there. You can also pull from the sides if you get a trim tool in there, but honestly right here will be easier. There it is. So you can see we're just lifting from this trim here. Now we can tilt this up to get to our wiring underneath. But before we get to that, we're just gonna set it to the side. We need to get down in there to our power wires. Now be careful here around this stamped steel, it may be sharp, so put a rag in there or whatever makes you comfortable to get to our connectors. And those are gonna be the Y connectors here. So this is gonna plug into our power socket in line to provide power to our little module. There's our connector right there. On the new connector, you can see there is the tab you have to push down right there to get it to unlock. We have our female connector there, our male connector here that's gonna plug into it, and then we'll wrap our felt tape around this guy. This is a blind one-handed operation here, but it only goes in one way. Maybe I can get two hands in. Okay, now there will be a small gap on that connection. That's what our felt tape is for, to hold those together and to protect the connectors. All right, we're all wrapped around that connector. Now we're gonna plug this side back into our factory connector down there. 
you should hear it click into place and it'll look just like that. Now this is the connector that's going to go into the start stop switch. You see the little blue spot there? That's where you push down. It's going to be the same connector on the start stop switch down here. So that's our connector right here. Little tab, pull it out. We're going to plug that in line to our module, our module to the start stop. And we're going to take our zip tie. And we're going to lock our module in place here to the side. Okay, we'll trim that up, put it back together. Zip tie is trimmed, everybody's locked in place. And rotate it back together, slide it down. Just like it came apart, just gonna snap into place. Snap, snap. Okay, now we can put our two screws back in. And we're going to clip our arch. Take two. We're going to clip our charging pad, plug it in, and lock it back down. Make sure you hear the snap. Okay, and snap, snap. Okay, so with all of our stuff plugged back in, the first thing we need to do is start it up and see if the indicator for the start stop turns on on the dash. It should take a couple of seconds. Let's fire it up. You see it up in the left corner briefly and it should pop back on now once it runs through all its checks. And there it is right there. Now, every time we get in the vehicle, the start stop will be disabled. And if we want to use it, awesome, we can push the button. That would have been a great feature for them to have programmed into the car. Maybe a little on off, you get to choose instead of them getting to choose for you. But in this case, the idle stopper, you plug that in, took us all of what, like five minutes? And now we have the feature the way that we want it. Hope you enjoyed watching this fun little outtake here on my buddy's Honda Pilot. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.